Hey, what's going on, Milwaukee Bucks Nation? Fear the Deer Lane. Uh, it's been a you know tough off season so far, man. Um, I don't think uh, this team has to do like a complete rebuild to, in order to you know get back to the NBA Finals and uh, walk away with the trophy. But um, I think it's this isn't really about excuses, but. Uh, what? So last year they started the regular season. Um, they made it to the playoffs, played all the way to the finals, and won the finals. Bucks and six. Remember, remember that? Remember that? You know, you guys do remember that that thing occurred because I know, like, you know, as time goes by, we like to forget um, history. But yeah, Bucks and six, and uh, shortly after that. Uh, Drew Holiday and Chris Middleton began workouts for uh, the Olympics. And I'm sure what that lasted maybe about a month, two months. And then right after that, regular season training camp, etc. for this year. So when you look at when you break down a timeline for Chris Middleton and Drew Holiday, uh, Outside looking in, um, they didn't perform to the best of their ability this year. Uh, and that can be shooting percentages, uh, three-point uh, field goal percentages, and um, just making like the, the, the most correct play, sand the floor. It was a few air, uh, it was a few turnovers that I seen from Drew Holiday that really was like uncharacteristic. And a couple three-pointers, a couple open shots that uh, Middleton uh, usually when knocked down, he didn't hit. He actually shot um, worse this year than last year. And I think when you just look at the overall um, inflicted pain and uh, energy that their, that their bodies endured to make it uh, through the playoffs and then um, on their quest to get the gold medal last year, you start to see that maybe... They just were tired, fatigued. Middleton's body broke down. He couldn't even finish the playoffs. So when you look at that, coupled with um, the actual injury of Chris Middleton and then in, uh, the injury, or not the injury, but the uh, fatigue play for uh, Drew Holiday and Middleton beforehand, you basically put Giannis in a situation where um, a lot of the offense is going to fall directly on him, even though that's the case normally. But definitely without those two, now you put um, more strain and um, more focus onto Giannis. And I think um, it was a little bit too much for us to adjust to as far as our coaching staff. Um, I don't think they made the adjustment uh, the best way. Maybe it's hard. You know, that Celtics team is dangerous. They're very, very deep. And um, the guys that they do bring in off the bench, like they're critical to their style of uh, play. They they make the right play and they're constantly putting their team in the best position and then they execute. You know what I mean? So as long as they're hitting these shots, this is what it's going to be. But um, yes, yeah, so shout outs to um, assistant coach Darvin Ham. He's uh, officially the Lakers head coach. Um, they got a good one, man. Um, I definitely think he's been able to learn uh, mo most of his um, technique from a great head coach, someone that came from an excellent coaching tree. So you know that 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 travels on. But um, yeah, man, I just think I just want people to understand that this team probably won't look that much that much different. Um, I don't think that you. I don't think that you have to feel as though you have to move on from Middleton or Holiday, but give them give them guys some rest, man. Like they won a they won a championship and then they won a gold medal, all in one year. That's a lot of hard work, man. And I'm not trying to you know give give excuses, but I think this that factor is the the reason why we we received the result we got, and that result was pretty good. You know, we went to the what we went to the second round. And we won game seven without Middleton. So, hey, man. But um, I, I, I do want to, you know, kind of gloss over the uh, the playoff performances. 
Uh, Middleton did his thing. Um, Holiday was inconsistent based off of what we know him to be in the playoffs. Y'all remember that run um, for the Pelicans? It was Drew Holiday, um, Anthony Davis, and uh, DeMarcus Cousins. Like a lot of that was because of Holiday, man. So. And even last year with the Bucks, like he's when it's playoff time, man, you can you can pretty much guarantee you're gonna get his best effort, and his best effort um, basically boosts the production. So I think, man, just as long as we um, just get back to being, you know, rested and putting our best players out on the floor, we'll be fine. But um, it's going to be interesting to see how we adjust with um, Grayson Allen and Wesley Matthews. Um, I, rem I remember a, f a few points in that um, that Boston series where Matthews, who's pretty much a shooter, he would like punt fake and um, try to go inside and he'd do something. And it's, cr and it's like, I'm not, I understand that's the correct basketball place to get a better shot and go inside. But when you see someone that is a strictly a shooter like um matthews can do some other things around the court but he's known for shooting he's not really known for driving so you see a couple um mistakes where you see him try to drive and then he'll get caught up he'll jump off the ground he's caught up in the air so now he has to do something with it or sometimes he just gets stuck he go he, he takes the ball and he'll drive to the paint and he hasn't really nowhere to go with no plan, you know, to, to do something with the ball. So, you know, that kind of put us in bad situations. But he also hit some good shots. I'm not going to. This isn't um, like blame Matthews for the loss. This is just over overshadowing or just um, going back and reviewing some of the things that um, I didn't really touch on in other videos. But, yeah, he. I feel as though just him personally, man, I think... Um, I like him as a player, but I just think we're probably going to move on from him. From that two-guard position, I think that they need a playmaker. And um, it's not somebody who can... I, I, we understand that Giannis wants to control the ball most of the time, or the system is designed and predicated on him touching the ball and controlling the ball. But um, we need somebody that can, you know, dribble, playmake. Hit open shots, set up other teammates. That's the type of that's the type of players. Either you can either shoot, play good defense, or you have to be able to be a good playmaker in order to be a successful teammate. Of be honest, so that's just my opinion. And I think um, he, I think Wesley Matthews is a good shooter. He he um, definitely showed the league he he can shoot and hit big shots, but. Um, just something more like if you try to if you try to do something outside of that element of shooting we we're going to need you to be the best that you can be at that and I think his drive into to the rim ability wasn't the best um, I like I like Connaughton a lot man I think that that's a player that we can continue to uh, build around and not build around but just use um, just use to come in play good defense great energy um hit open shots and he can and he can jump man he he's he's a spicy dude man i like i like Connaughton, man um i don't know man because it's it's, it's kind of hard to really adjust to um think that this team needs to make moves to improve and win and when in reality man we just need to be healthy and make sure everyone's well rested man so i don't think you're going to see any um, extracurricular activities from the um, from the Bucks, man. I think this off season you're gonna see them chill, relax, man, and then just get ready for early camp. And I think, man, you're gonna see a more positive, um, energized team. Um, I really do, man. Because even even with all those odds stacked against us, we still went Game Seven with the team that well, they're in Game Seven now of the fi of the uh, Eastern Conference Finals, and that was Boston. Boston really has the better team than Miami, but it's just the system and um, the all-around unselfishness of the heat that, you know, makes them, helps, helps them prevail. And Jimmy B. Anytime Jimmy B's getting 47, 45, you know, it's going to be hard. But, yeah, I think, man, this... I'm, I'm not a fan of the conference finals right now, man. It's the, the Mavs and... Um, Warrior series was it was a little exciting because you know we figured that 
the Warriors would win. But based on the fact that, you know, uh, Luka was just a great um, player to watch, man, it, it, it just brought eyes to the game. But as far as a, a series, man, it just really wasn't the best series that we could have, man. But um, going forward, man, we, hey, Warriors right now, I'm going I'm to go ahead and say it, man. I think it's going to be Miami, man. I think Boston's good enough to do it, but just something about Miami, man. It's just something about Miami, man. The, the, the defense, Eric Spostra, it's something about this team that just keeps having them in this type of situation, whether it's Eastern Conference Finals or NBA Finals. Like, this team has has been very, very productive, man, um, in the last few years. And th that was a team that I was actually fearing, that I actually feared. Even, I don't really fear too many teams, but that Miami Heat team, was a was crazy yo I'm, and i'm saying like when they're all healthy that team is it's easily probably one to one seven if they're all healthy and they're you know playing every game uh, but you know that, that really happens how many times do you get an nfl or an nba team that's completely healthy all 82 games and in the playoffs it's kind of hard man but yo thank y'all for tuning in we're gonna turn this thing up next year too man um going into uh the new nba season and um off season things like that man i'm gonna get a little bit more dedicated to building this channel up and you know providing you guys with content that you can you know enjoy man um basically i want to just build a community for all bucks fans to come and you know talk about what we can do to improve what we don't like what we, what we agree on things of that nature man and, and learn man because um it's 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 always a learning process man no matter who the person is how old they are uh we just got to keep an open mind man Thank y'all for clicking that button, man. Thank y'all for tuning in. Be safe. God bless. Peace.